Hi, I'm Alexis Schusterman, and I'm super excited to tell you why I should be your next chemistry champion. I grew up in Portland, Oregon, where both my mom and my dad are chemists too. I got my undergraduate degree in chemistry from Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, and right now I'm studying atmospheric chemistry at University of California, Berkeley. At Berkeley, I research the arch nemesis of the 21st century, carbon dioxide. You've probably already heard about how things humans do, like burning fossil fuels and cutting down trees, changes the Earth's climate through something called the greenhouse effect. Because of this, lawmakers, business owners, and other leaders are making decisions to help reduce the amount of CO2 we emit, which is awesome. But how do we know if those decisions are working or not? Currently, a lot of cities monitor their CO2 emissions with one really nice, expensive instrument. They use a single number to represent the carbon dioxide for the entire city. But really, things are more complicated than that. Different neighborhoods and localities can have different small-scale CO2 concentrations than the city as a whole. A few big emitters may be responsible for a large fraction of the citywide total, while the rest of the area is emitting very little. So here's where my research comes in. I use something called BEACON, the Berkeley Atmospheric CO2 Observation Network. BEACON is made up of a system of many smaller, cheaper sensors that give me minute-to-minute -minute information on CO2 concentrations down to the kilometer. With this kind of high-definition picture, I can figure out in much greater detail whose CO2 rules are working, whose aren't, and how we can make all our rules better in the future. A lot of people are calling our battle against climate change the most important challenge humankind has ever faced. If that's true, we need as many people on board as possible to help us win this fight. The Chemistry Champions competition is a truly amazing opportunity for me to get the word out on this incredibly important issue. So thanks so much for listening.